Hey everyone and welcome to Shuriken Skills number 67 here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. This Shuriken skill is to learn about setting frame fitting options in InDesign. Now I've got a whole bunch of frames here which have all been set slightly differently and what I'm going to do just for a moment is just hold down the command key that would be control on windows of course and just delete the row on the end there okay so you can access frame fitting options by simply right clicking on any frame and choosing fitting or by going to the object menu and then down to fitting and frame fitting options from there so if i just quickly select uh, one of these for example this one just here just hold down command and select that go to object fitting frame fitting options you can see that i've got this set to fill the frame proportionally okay and to do that in this particular instance from the center now over on the left hand side here there are three icons showing up this one's set from the center this one is set from the top left hand corner and this one is set from the bottom right just to show you okay where i set those things to so I'll go ahead and place some of these images. What I'm going to do is just click in each one and you can see in the three unmodified ones, okay, where it's just, just chuck the image in there basically, that you're getting different results. This is filling from the center of the image to the center of the frame. This is filling from the top left-hand corner of the image to the top left-hand corner of the frame. And this is from the bottom right-hand corner of the image to the bottom right-hand corner of the frame. Now I'll go for fill proportionally and there is a difference there although it's quite subtle we'll have a look at that in a moment and these ones are all set to fit proportionally and auto fit. I'm just going to tap the escape key here to purge the images from the cursor that I don't actually need. Now if you select any frame in the properties panel you can see that you've got some fitting options just here and this is how you can enable auto fit if it isn't enabled already but let's have a look at the three images in the middle here so remember this one is set to fill from the center if i just click on the content grabber you can hopefully see if i just zoom in on that slightly for you there like so that the image extends out to the sides if i just pan down a little bit here and click on the content grabber for this one which is set to the top left you can see that the extension goes out to the right and finally this one which is set to the bottom right extends out to the left so they're not moving very much in these small frames but you can see that they're moving let me just fill the document into the window here and what i'm going to do is just grab these last three which are set to auto fit which we'll examine in a moment and then I'm going to hold down my optional alt key and just drag a copy of them across like so into the next column. So if I select these two just here, remember they've both got auto fit turned on. In fact, let's get the one just next to it as well. So the top three there, okay, and change the size of these boxes. You can see that the ones that have just fill frame, they're still doing what they're doing. The ones with auto fit, however, have actually changed where the image is. Let me just bring that out to the side like so. Okay, and then I'll stretch it vertically. Okay, so something different happening there, of course, because this one's staying as it is. It was only filling the frame to start off with, whereas these two are both auto-fitting. So what about the last option here, content-aware fit? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag so I've got smaller frames here like so. Now at the moment they are all auto fitting. I'll make that one more square just there. In fact, I want to do something just a little bit different than that. Let's go longer with that one. And with this one here, we'll go wider like so. So I'll just bring that out to the edge there like so. I'll then select all three of these and either using the shortcut Alt Command X or by coming over here into the properties panel and clicking this icon, the AI assisted content aware fit will start working. And if I click just there, 
you'll see that it looks at the images and looks at the subject. You can see how they've all changed like so. It's focused on the subject. Let's make that frame a lot bigger like so. It's still auto fitting there. And once again, I'll hit content aware fit. And you can see how it's worked out what the subject of the picture is most likely. Okay, and positioned it sensitively with some negative space in there as well. And that's it. That's your shuriken skill to practice this time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and you can feed back to me here or via Facebook or Twitter. But for now, we're done, and I'll see you next time for another Shuriken Skills episode. See ya.